going to be another interesting video that I reckon you guys are going to enjoy. Um, I'm wearing a hat inside because I didn't want to have the same hairstyle as the last video I filmed about my exhaust. So now I'm just wearing a hat, which I need to pull down because it makes me look like I have a really, really big forehead. I don't know why. Um, yeah. But no, I'm just wearing a normal t-shirt because I, uh, I'm just, I'm just chilling at home today. So I thought I'd film a video for you guys because you seemed to enjoy the last one. I know I watch a lot of these videos because I find them really, really interesting. If you didn't know already, I have an OnlyFans. I'm planning on changing the name soon uh, to That Mini Girl because that's, I don't know, it just seems appropriate because I'm little and I have a mini. So one thing which you're all gonna know is earnings. How much do I earn? Well, I'm not going to tell you because no one bloody tells anyone. So I'm not going to tell you. Um, my earnings haven't increased at all in the last, like, three months uh, since I last made a video. Um, I have actually upped my content. My content's changed um, quite a bit. It's become a little bit more risky. But my earnings have not changed. Um, earnings honestly depend on how much effort you put in. How lucky you are how many followers you have how much time you put into seeing what individual people want what you've actually sent out making content for me it's working out so my body feels confident to post pictures on there because I that was the one reason why I started any fans I thought it would motivate me to work out which it kind of does it kind of doesn't um, uh, sometimes it's actually less enjoyable at times uh, when you have a lot of pressure to upload things. Personally, for me, I don't upload full nudity. So, but my page, to me, is the most it can be without showing certain things. So I do upload a lot of interesting things um, and my page is, like, it has a wide variety of content on there which suits most people and I do interact with people every day um, even as being a student, I do put a lot of time into it and I do quite enjoy it. It is quite nice having, being sort of like self-employed and having like just something to focus on. Um, and if the feeling you get when someone purchases something or people when they like your things, they tip you, they say, oh, I really like your page. That feeling is, it is so good because then all the work you've put in has paid off. And there is work to it. It's literally not just you post a photo and yeah, there's your money, there's your fans. Um, it's not really like that. You have to put in some effort to it. So since the last video, I have been purchasing promo. Um, I purchased S Body Soaps Guide and that actually really helped me. I always refer back to it when I sort of stuck for ideas or whether I'm you know, like trying to improve my page and trying to improve the way I create content and things. That was really helpful. Um, I know you can get it for cheaper if you go through her referral link or if you buy promo. I think she's got an offer on for the guide. But oh yeah, I purchased the guide. I purch I've purchased some promo off some other girls. I know that's helped me a little bit. So, so far I've actually worked out because you have to do your own taxes when you do OnlyFans. Um, and... I am honestly not at the t at the rate that I would be paying tax. That is how little I earn compared to some content creators. I know there there is a big thing about how you know people message me and they're like, "Oh, how are you a broke student? You do any fans? You must be earning so much money." And I'm like, "No, not really. I still have to save a lot of money for things such as car mods um, and a laptop for uni. Um, it helps. It definitely helps because." There is no way on a vet nursing course that I'd be able to manage a usual job because I'm not saying OnlyFans isn't a job because it kind of is. Depending on the amount of fans you have, OnlyFans can quickly turn into a job. I know girls who have like hundreds of fans, they are on it all day, every day, and they never actually get a break from it. But like I said, it's kind of like you get out what you put in. I haven't actually received any hate. Like everyone's been really supportive. A few people have just, people just laugh about it. Like, people find it really funny, especially people who don't understand what it is. But when I tell them, you know, like, it's I'm not actually earning that much money. I don't actually show as much as people think on there. Um, because, 
you know, I am motivated to do my career. And I'm not saying if I earned thousands and thousands of pounds every month on OnlyFans, I wouldn't drop out of my uni course because who wouldn't really, you know, that is the dream to like have, to be able to do track days, to be able to learn to drift, to be able to have a drift car, to be able to learn to ride a motorbike and buy a jump bike. But you know, I just, I don't have that kind of money. But if OnlyFans did blow up for me and all my hard work paid off, then that is the dream life to be living, <laughs> really. And I honestly wouldn't care whether I'm in the sex industry or not. People will judge whatever you do. So as long as you've worked hard to get there for it, then like I totally respect some of these people who are living the best lifestyle um, when they've just literally just done this type of work. Um, another thing that I have actually done is I've subscribed to other users, um, not just because of being nosy, but because I want to support them. A few girls have actually subscribed to me um, before that I've noticed, um, and whether they're there to steal my ideas or whether they're to support me, then, you know, fair enough, go for it. Just because it is so good to support other girls, and I'm so grateful for people who have actually given me free advice um, and, you know, I am actually slowly building up a following on my account because I actually have two Instagram accounts. I have one devoted to OnlyFans promotion and my car and then I have one devoted to normal things because people don't, people who do vet nursing around into animals don't tend to be interested in, you know, new, um, new wheels that I've got and an exhaust, a loud exhaust. It just, different different worlds so that's everything that i'm going to be talking about in this video i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope it gave you a bigger insight into OnlyFans. Uh, if you want me to carry on doing these videos maybe i can do some tips and tricks or more videos about my experience uh then just give this video a thumbs up to let me know and uh if you would like to check out my only fans it is currently i think only six pounds but i do do sales quite a bit so if i see that your rebels turned on i will give you a discount and i send out a lot of freebies and i will leave the link to my only fans down below if you want someone who is like just more personal to you who someone like can talk to you about normal things and then incorporate the other type of things too um so i will see you in my next video and if you would like me to do any more car content about my car because I actually find that really interesting just let me know and uh yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video um 